Welcome back to Higher Level Gaming. I'm Rob. Today we're talking indie darling Celeste and its main character Madeline, who may have been revealed to be a trans woman recently. Celeste was one of the best games of 2018 and was a game nominated for many awards last year. Recently, it got its last bit of DLC. The Farewell DLC was released September 9th and was actually the first and only DLC for the game. It's a pretty sizable expansion that adds a lot to the world of the game and serves as a conclusion to the story and a kind of epilogue, so to speak, sending off the main character Madeline to her next journey in life and sending off all of the players to their next journey in life, whatever that may be. Celeste is a fairly unique game in that it has a female protagonist and it's a game that centers around the issues of anxiety and depression and how one copes with those kinds of things. The mountainous game world represents the hurdles that the main character Madeline faces in her own life and it mimics the peril therein. Well, this new DLC seems to confirm a little known fan theory that Madeline is in fact a trans woman and there's a good amount of evidence to support that point of view that we're going to go over right now. So here we can see one of the end game frames from Celeste's new farewell DLC and you can clearly see right here over in the corner behind her monitor there is not only a gay pride flag, but there is also a trans pride flag. Now that's this second flag right here, and you can go ahead and just Google trans flag, and it's the exact same flag. Nobody's trying to misinterpret that. Second of all, and this is the in conjunction with that other thing, what makes people think that Celeste is in fact or Madeline is in fact trans, is this image of Madeline as a child with her mother and Madeline clearly has more of a boy's haircut and the kind of like cowlick up in the front of the hair is still there but obviously this is kind of more of a male gendered looking character in this image. So that in conjunction with the fact that you have the trans flag, a lot of people are putting it together and coming to the conclusion that Madeline is in fact trans and I think that that's a pretty good assumption at this point. They've been talking it over on the Celeste subreddit and there's a post by you girl with a guitar is Madeline a trans girl? And it says, so a couple of people who beat in the chapter, bring these screenshots to light, blah, blah, blah. It's got me wondering, knowing both Lena Rain, who is one of the people who did the music for Celeste, and Matt Thorson, who was the Matt Makes Games of the development studio, so basically the lead developer is non-binary. They think maybe because of that, Madeline is trans. Not only is there an image showing her with trans and rainbow flags, but also a second shows a picture of her mom featuring much shorter hair and a boyish appearance. Combine that with the game's story being centered around topics of depression, anxiety, and stress, and it all kind of lines up, right? At least that's how I see it, what's everyone else take? So obviously I have the same take. I am pretty much sure that Madeline is trans. And the top comment kind of goes into some of the other hints in the game that this is really what's going on here. So they said that they've been getting super strong trans vibes for forever from the game. She's at least one estranged family member and that her evil doppelganger manifests from a mirror. Dysphoria makes mirrors hard for us. They're obviously talking about trans people. She learned to work with the part of her that was causing her distress, which makes me feel like Badalyn represents her complicated relationship with gender. She hates being photographed at the beginning, and the sky in the transition areas of chapter 7 is literally trans flag colored. She also has bangs, which is a trans thing because a lot of trans people are self-conscious about the size of their foreheads, and I'm pretty sure I had more points, blah blah blah. In one of Theo Instagram pictures, she has rainbow socks. So the rainbow socks is only as good as the rainbow flag. That could just be support of uh, LGBTQ rights. But obviously, there is a lot of symbolism in the game with her fighting this part of herself that comes out of the mirror and learning to cope with that part of herself. 
I can definitely see that as being symbolic of her coming to terms with her own gender identity. Now another person, Logic Hawk, said down further in the thread that apparently Madeline said at some point she doesn't take any pills for anxiety or depression, which makes it likely the pill bottle she has is estrogen, but it's also possible she started taking meds for that stuff since we last saw her. So what they're referring to here is another image where it actually shows her in bed and there's a pill bottle next to the bed right here. Now obviously people could have pill bottles for any number of reasons, but you would assume because this game is centered around anxiety and depression it is for that. Knowing though that the character has said in the game that they do not take medication, this makes it more likely that these are estrogen pills and I'm pretty much convinced at this point considering all of the other evidence that people have talked about from the game. I think this is a great case of representation and the fact that they didn't actually announce it might mean that it's not true but it also might mean that you know they're leaving it up to the player to figure this out for themselves. I'm expecting them to come out and straight up confirm that Madeline is a trans person soon enough on Twitter or something like that and maybe I'll make a follow up video at that point but I think uh, based upon the content itself it is pretty much confirmed it's in the game. Now a lot of people are saying just because she has short hair doesn't mean she was a boy or you know being gendered as a boy but I would disagree especially because you know your parents are more likely to gender you growing up in the way that they assume that you identify so it makes a lot more sense that her as a kid with short hair was her as a boy because most little girls who are believed to be little girls by their parents are given long hair. Again, this is all speculation though. I think it's about time we had a little bit more trans representation in video games because I can't think of any trans people in games who are positively represented off the top of my head. And I think it's exciting when anyone gets more representation. As a Latino person, I'm always looking for more Latino representation and that's something that I really care about. So hopefully this is a game that gives a lot of trans people a reason to play video games or a reason to get into a game that's otherwise, from everything I've heard, an amazing game. What do you think? Do you think it's confirmed? Let me know if you think Madeline is trans in the comments or if you think people are reaching. Either way, I appreciate you watching this video. Consider subscribing to Higher Level Gaming for all kinds of gaming news and specifically politics in games. You can also share this video anywhere video games are discussed. But above all else, don't forget to go play some video games and have a nice day.